Welcome back to the Danger Room. I have been busy in here this weekend blitzing for Cyclops, or at least blitzing and watching for those pink heart orb fragments to pop after every uh, cycle. You know, this was one of the easiest blitzes I've ever done. I, when I used to really blitz, and that stopped about a year ago, saying at 8.3 and just grinding it out how many points I could get, um, it was a very different feeling. Now I did a basically a blitz climb every cycle, going from level 1 up to nearly level 6 every time. Uh, just all the teams that I've accumulated. It was very painless, mostly auto, and I got 12.8 million <laughs> blitz points. I did not expect to do that. I was just really just you know, doing what I can as as I went along. It's gotten me Cyclops nearly to four star. That's a chip shot as soon as the event, as soon as we get those shards in and the shards for the orbs uh, in the rescue blitz when the event recommences after the one day breather <laughs> for our orb blitzes. Um, I'll be able to move him up to 4 star and we'll see if I can get him to 5 star by the end. But the main thing I'm really shooting for are those tech mini uniques way up in the chain. So I'm excited about those. I can use every single one of those that I can get. Um, I would say the only tip that I would share for this event is one, just to blitz a lot uh, and keep it as painless as possible. And the best way to keep it painless is as you, after you do your blitz climb, just start over. Because those first ones, you know... The shards for winning the first battle on the first level, which is a super easy blitz battle, are the same as trying to win at 8-3. So, so why? You know, what you should do is after you finish your cycle, start failing. I'll, the window will show you how I do that. Um, go through, go to the bottom of your roster. That's where my sad characters that I can't farm are or, you know, the Hydra Nazis that I refuse to ever level. Well, I mean, we'll see. If if uh, Red Skull makes them really worth it, maybe I'll do that someday. Just throw them in there, let them load in, walk away, wash some dishes, fill some bags of hay, go tickle your kids, fold some laundry. Whatever you got to do, just let them load in um, and then go up to the top. Let's see if I can get right to, my, to the top left, this blue hamburger button. And then hit the lose battle and that's it fills you right back down to the previous level or to the current level to the bottom of that tier do that three or four times and then you're done and you can start over at the lowest level making a lot more points i call it failing to win it's absolutely the critical thing i'm so glad it's back in the game first when you used to fail that's how it used to happen then they changed the fail to be what they call i don't know what's the other one where you can just stay where you're at it's like I don't want that. Like, I want to fail down. I don't want to just stay there and grind myself. I want an easy battle so things like my hand team can win. Or I could throw in these crazy Ravagers and a couple of Mercs they'll never use to, to fail for me. But uh, it's worked out really well. Um, past that, Spider-Man Symbiote's on the team. Super excited about that too. I keep making my progress every day, spending my 1.825 million. I expect to be able to get him to nearly to five star by the end of this first cycle he's a lot slower i mean over the last few days shoot man unlocking symbiote spider-man unlocking cyclops that's awesome running the heroes campaign to where i can farm colossus is amazing i got namor to six star i've got in the next three days i'll have human torch to seven star it's just great i mean i feel like they've unlocked the door and there's a lot more things that we could do in the game but that's all i wanted to share for today just making sure you're aware of how i how to do those blitzes stay low keep it easy keep it low intensity it's nearly blitz and chill but i'm doing it kind of frequently um but the fail down the failing to win is super important and you'll you'll definitely benefit from it until then, we'll see what comes out next week. If next week is as busy as last week was with Marvel Strike Force news, it means they're up to a lot of good work. I'll take that. Um, outside of that, have a great day.